If you're like me, you love to get your hands on new gear, and that's exactly what we're going to do in this video. Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com. I got a couple new products from Lyman to show you under their Brass Smith brand. We've got the new Lyman powder major. This has got some unique features I'm looking forward to trying. And we've got the stand that works really nicely with this measure. You can mount it on your bench, you can mount it to the wall. It gives you all sorts of flexibility. So let's take a look at what we got. Have not opened this box yet. I did, however, see this at the SHOT Show. <laughs> Instructions. And it's pretty straightforward. We've got the powder measure main body there. We've got a handle. This is an ambidextrous design. You've got the holes on both sides, so you can either actuate with your right hand or your left hand. And then we've got some small parts here. Let's see what all is in here. Okay, 7 8 by 14 main body. This is going to screw into any press that, or any stand that has 7 8 by 14, which is the standard reloading die sizing. We've got a couple drop funnels. And then we've got a handle, mounting screws, and it even includes the Allen key that you need to put it all together. So I like to drop with my right hand. I'm just going to start putting this together. Okay. I like drum type powder measures because I've found them to get give really consistent results, consistent powder charges more than the other styles that I've tried. Although the Lee models that have the, the cavities, those, those have also worked out pretty consistently for me. Kind of depends on the powder sometimes too. What's nice about this measure is that it has the baffle included. So let me get the lid off here. So that's going to result in a consistent packing of the powder in the drum, which means consistent charges. If you don't have the baffle, there's more packing when you have more powder and less packing in terms of packing pressure uh, in that cavity when you have less powder. So this is going to give us some consistent results, which is always good. And then we've got a larger and a smaller drop funnel. Got to add this drop main die body here. What's nice about this, with one screw we can quickly detach the, the hopper assembly from the, the die body and that's going to allow us to empty this uh, almost instantaneously, which is great. Okay. Got the lock ring. So this is going to stay in the stand, this die body here. And we can adjust it however we want. And I'm going to go ahead and put the larger drop funnel in there. Okay. It looks like that will go into the base just fine. Let's take a look at the base now. To flip these tabs with a knife blade. There we go. Of course, this has got a matching orange finish. Wow. That's really nice. I like that. Sweet. Okay. Um, so I'm going to take a look at uh, this mounting arrangement and I'll be back in just a second. All right. I quickly sorted out the ideal mounting arrangement. So I've got the Ultimate Reloader Bench System here, which uses T tracks and it uses 3 8 by 16 bolts the heads of which slide in these tracks and then you clamp things down. Well, these slots are optimized for quarter inch bolts. Not a problem. I found some large head quarter 20 bolts here. I shortened them and then now all I have to do is slip these into the tracks. The challenge is keeping them from spinning because they have round heads, but uh, this is not a this is not a super critical application, and if you kind of pull up on it, it doesn't want to uh, move as bad. So there we go. Now that is solid, and I needed no base, no other hardware, just a couple quarter 20 bolts 
and I'm set. So I'm, I'm loving that. And then we just take this die out. Looks like we can leave the funnel on. That's cool. And I'm going to kind of crank it down so I have a bit protruding here, a little bit more clearance. And then we will kind of hand tighten the lock ring. And then we just put the powder measure on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it so that I get into one of these detents. There's a little detents radially arranged around this die body. And I'm going to mount it so that it's perfectly straight in one of those detents. Now, when I want to empty the powder, I just loosen the screw, take off the cap, empty the powder, put the body back on, wiggle it a little bit so that screw goes into the detent, and there we go. Okay, so let's drop some powder. So I decided to use a powder that I'm familiar with in terms of metering, which is hydrogen Varget, use it all the time. And then I did decide to use a case instead of the pan that would normally go with the scale. So let's add some powder. Just using a funnel that I've cut down for this purpose here. I took a moment to degrease the internals. Always a good idea to wipe the internal parts down. Ooh, almost overfilled there. <laughs> okay. So we've got the reservoir filled with hydrogen. And I'm going to go ahead and zero out my case here. And when we've confirmed our zero on the case, now we can charge the case and see exactly what our powder charge is. Okay, so 40.9. And this might take a little while to settle in. 41 41.3. 41.4. 41.5. Forty one point six, forty one point six, forty one point five. Forty one point nine cuts through the sticks pretty well there. A little granule got chopped in half there. Forty one point five. So you can see we're stabilizing here. And forty one point nine. Well, forty yeah, forty one point nine it settled out at. And now when we want to empty the measure, this is what I love. It should be just this quick. And with this powder measure, it is. We just dump it. And then we might have to rotate it a little bit to get the powder through the holes in the baffle. And then what I like to do is just give it a few dumps to let uh, all of the granules fall out. And then we can just reattach and we're ready to roll. Okay, so for a second test, let's charge some pistol cases to see how it's going to do with a different powder and with smaller charge weights. Okay, so before we fill the powder measure, what I'm going to do is loosen this brass set screw and then we're going to push the rod in all the way. And because for this, we're gonna simulate a 45 ACP charge, could be down in the five grain range, six grain range, something like that. So we're gonna set that on the scale, we're gonna zero that, and make sure that we have a primer in place, because we don't want the powder to leak out the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna go with some Hodgson CFE pistol. Again, this is a 
This is a flattened ball powder. This is one that I use for pistol quite a bit. Again, I'm, I'm very familiar with how it meters. So we're going to go ahead and fill that a ways up. And then we're going to continue to use this 30 cal drop tube. Okay, you can see there's a bit of powder there. Now we're going to fill the case, I don't know, about close to halfway. Let's see what that does. You get kind of a good visual, and then we'll throw it on the scale to see where our charge weight is at. Very smooth. Okay. And okay, we're at six and a half. That sounds about right. So I'm going to go ahead and charge kind of a bunch of these just to get the settle in established, and then we'll take some consistency readings. Six point Six point five. 6.5. 6.5. Well, this is great. I'm super happy with this powder measure. As you can see, once it settles in, you're going to get really consistent charges and I love the features. I love the baffle. I love the ambidextrous handle. I love the adjustable metering insert with coarse level adjustments and fine level adjustments. You don't have to take it apart to go from really small charges like six grains uh, up to bigger charges. And I'll have the full specs in the accompanying blog post. Click on the first link in the video description to find out more about that. Love the quick detach. Love how the, the base works. Love that you can mount it to the wall or the bench. I love my slick Ultimate Reloader Bench integration with these hold down bolts, the quarter 20 with the large bolt heads. Uh, this piece of equipment is going to get some regular use. And in fact, I have planned an orange showcase. I'm going to tie together pretty much all of the brass smith equipment. I'm getting one of the first case trim express units. There's been a lot of interest in that and I can't wait to try it and show it to you all. So if you want to see something specific, drop a comment. If it's a cartridge, if it's a piece of equipment, if it's a process, drop a comment and make sure you're subscribed. Subscribe with notifications. You got to get that little bell dinging down there because you don't want to miss anything. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you all. If you want to support me, you can go to the Ultimate Reloader store and buy one of my cool t-shirts. I'm also on Patreon. Links in the video description uh, yet again. Until next time, happy shooting and happy reloading.